guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is Jackery and i'm a year 13 student studying biology chemistry maths and psychology and in this video i'm going to be trying to work eight hours today okay guys so Jacker from the future here i'm currently editing the video and you might notice the fact that i've said eight hours in the video but the title only says seven hours and the reason for this is basically i reached the end of the day and i just didn't have the energy to complete eight hours so i only ended up doing seven regardless i hope you still enjoy the video and you still find it enjoyable and yeah back to the video to just catch up on some of my revision the date is currently a saturday and on monday i have two exams that will play a big role in determining what my a level grades are so i'm just kind of doing this to give me some accountability and force me to get on with all my work um, I'm going to be using Forest to track all my revision and yeah, so hopefully I can get everything done. I'll put my kind of to-do list on the screen right now and you guys can get an idea of how much work I need to get done today. You can see that I have some overdue tasks, so I'm going to try and catch up with that as well as doing some more work today. So hopefully it all works out and it is currently Ramadan, which means like many students studying right now, I can't eat or drink anything throughout the day, but I don't really see that as a bad thing because it means there's less interruptions to my workflow and I don't really have anything else to do. So studying is a really good way to pass the time as well. So yeah, before we get started, please like, subscribe and comment. The YouTube algorithm really likes that and it really helps me. So yeah, sorry this intro is a bit rushed, but I really need to get started. So let's get into it. So I started this session at around 1 p.m. and I started off doing some psychology, primarily working on the circadian rhythm chapter because I have a psychology exam coming up which will include this part of biopsych. I also decided to cover some of the topics I had to get done for maths which was quite a few. A short while into that I realised I was a lot more ahead of my work and my to-do list than I initially thought I would be so I decided to go slightly off script and work on some topics as a whole rather than just pinpointing specific topics. To do this I just got up some past papers and picked out some questions that look challenging and relevant to the topics we were told to cover for the exam that's going to come up. Doing exam papers are a really good way to kind of test your ability to think on your feet. When you do a bunch of questions on a specific topic, you kind of know what to expect and what method you have to use to get the right answer. But with exam questions, you can get a completely different topic in the next question. And having that ability to quickly know what to do is a really useful skill to save time in an exam, which was the main skill I was trying to practice by doing these exam questions. Now, with the exam season so close by, as you can tell, my revision is solely focused around practice questions, so that's all I've really been doing. Occasionally, I'll watch a YouTube video on a topic if I'm not too confident on it, but even then, I feel practice questions are a really good way to find where I'm making my mistake. And yeah, I ended up working on maths for the remainder of the study session, primarily on vectors since that's the area that I didn't feel too strongly on. I even found some time in between all of that to change up the camera angles in the name of increasing production value in really big air quotes, so I hope you like that. Okay, so just finished the first block of studying, did about four hours and said I did a good amount of work, I uh, felt really productive and like I stayed on task. Feeling quite energised but I'm going to take a little break and try to get back to work afterwards. Um, it's always important to take a little break but I want to get back to work as soon as possible before I lose the flow I have right now. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. Anyway guys, the time is currently 14 past 6. Just for reference, the last clip I recorded at around just before 5pm. So my short break kind of turned into a bit of a longer one, but no worries. So yeah, if I do another two more hours, then that will take me to around 8pm. And I think around then I can just take another break and relax for a bit before having to think about working again. So yeah, don't want to waste too much time. So just going to get straight back into work. So the next shot is just going to be me working. And yeah. At this point, you can tell it was nearing the end of the day. The sun was annoyingly in my eyes during some parts of the study session and I don't have any curtains, but I didn't let it bother me too much. By this point, I think I decided to tackle a bit of chemistry. I think 
one key factor in being successful is exams is balancing all the content for me doing four a levels means it's really easy for me to accidentally neglect some subject so even if my next exam is a maths exam i have to think about what exams i have after that and try revise for that too i find if i revise on an exam by exam basis then eventually i reach a point where there will be times when i have exams one day after the other which is quite common with four subjects so i just need to be a little bit more prepared so i don't end up overwhelming myself it's not too big of a deal but it is something i have to be conscious about that being said i did go back to doing maths whilst balancing is important i still want to put the majority of my focus onto maths which is basically what i did i think in this two hour block i was able to squeeze in some biology near the end as well which was really convenient for me Soon I noticed that it was nearing 8pm and the sun was setting and this is around the time we break our fast so I decided that I wanted to finish work about 30 minutes before that so I'd have some time to relax and breathe and just not have to stress out about the times and whatnot. Okay so the last clip finished at around 8pm and right now it's currently about 9.40 so I've literally just been doing nothing for about an hour 40 minutes. The goal was to do 8 hours today but I think I'm just going to do another hour and stop at 7 and then call it a day because honestly I want to get a good night's sleep and yeah. Um, so I've had something to eat, finally had something to drink so I feel a bit more energised but obviously I don't want to push myself too much because then when Monday comes around I'm just going to be a complete zombie so yeah the next shot will just be me finishing up some work I'll put an updated version of my to-do list on the screen right now um, I finished most of it I think wait um yeah so I've got about three items left and I'm not too fussed about that I think now in the last hour I'm going to be doing a bit more free revision where I'm just going to go through maybe some of the things I've done today or just you know work on other things but yeah just hopefully the last hour can be a bit productive and then after that I can just relax. Now near the end of the day is when I'm usually the most tired and I think anyone who has to fast during these times will tell you after you eat you feel relatively bloated and you're basically in a mild food coma for the rest of the evening but I decided to persevere in the name of productivity and to just get this last hour out of the way. I decided to attempt a few more questions around maths and vectors because this was a topic that I still somewhat struggle with. Some of the questions I was attempting in this last hour were questions sent to me from friends. They were quite challenging and I'd say a bit more challenging than some of the questions I was attempting around the morning time. But I do think it's important to make sure you're doing a range of difficult questions so that you can get a taste for the potential questions that could come up on a specific topic. After that, I kind of just defaulted to finishing off some exam questions that I'd started earlier on in the day, all while having my eyes fixed to the clock to see when my hour was up because I was honestly feeling quite drained at this point and just wanted to finish out for the day. So that's seven hours down. Um... I feel like I've made a good dent in my work. I definitely think filming myself throughout the day has definitely kept me accountable and made sure that I've gotten as much work done as possible. I think now I'm just going to pack everything up and then get ready for bed and just have about an hour to cool down and go on my phone or message my friends, etc. So, yeah, definitely well deserved. Going to enjoy it and hopefully tomorrow I can wake up and have another productive day but that's a problem for the future me to deal with if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful motivational then leave a like subscribe and let me know if there's any videos you want to see in the future or if you have any questions about anything that's been all from me and goodbye